Hello viewers, welcome to the channel Amazing Civil Engineering Studies. In today's video we are going to discuss about what is L-Box test. Usually the slump test is used to find the workability of fresh concrete at the site. There are other tests used to find concrete workability, such as Kelly Ball test, Flow Table test and VB test. But those tests are not suitable for high fluidity concrete. The self-compacting concrete is the high fluidity concrete used where the reinforcement is congested, and vibrating is not possible at all. What is the L-Box test? The test used to find the passing ability of freshly mixed self-compacting concrete in the reinforcement is known as the L-Box test. It is conducted at a site or lab to find the passing ability of fresh concrete used in underwater construction work in Japan. The L-Box test is done as per British standards and 12350-10 not by Indian standard. This test for self-compacting concrete is based on a Japanese design for underwater concrete, has been described by Peterson. The test assesses the flow of the concrete and also the extent to which it is subjected to blocking by reinforcement. The apparatus is shown in the figure. L-Box Test Apparatus a box it contains a vertical hopper and horizontal flow tank. A small gate placed at the bottom of the vertical hopper for concrete flowing. There are two or three bar, 12 mm diameter and 40 mm spacing. Obstacles placed in the horizontal flow tank. The spacing of rods is 3 times greater than the larger size of aggregate. Stopwatch Trowel Measuring scale The little box should be free from dust and other impurities. Dampness will be applied inside the box. Step 1 Ensure the horizontal level of the box by spirit level. Step 2 Fill the concrete into the vertical hopper up to the top and level it by the trowel. Step 3 After 1 minute, open the gate and allow the concrete flowing to the horizontal tank. Step 4 When the concrete flow is completed, Note down the measurement, as shown in the picture. Test Procedure About 14 liter of concrete needed to perform the test, sampled normally. Set the apparatus level on firm ground, ensure that the sliding gate can open freely and then close it. Moisten the inside surface of the apparatus, remove any surplus water, fill the vertical section of the apparatus with the concrete sample. Leave it stand for one minute. Lift the sliding gate and allow the concrete to flow out into the horizontal section. Simultaneously, Start the stopwatch and record the time for the concrete to reach the concrete 200 and 400 marks. When the concrete stops flowing, the distances H1 and H2 are measured. Calculate H2 slash H1 the blocking ratio. The hole has Tom performed within 5 minutes. Measurement After the concrete flow was completed, 
measure the height of concrete settlement in both vertical and horizontal portions of the box. The measurement has to be taken at three places in both sections. The average depth of the upright portion is H1 and the average depth of the horizontal portion is H2. Test Calculation The ratio between the concrete depth of horizontal and vertical portion is the passing ratio of the SCC concrete. Concrete passing ratio equals H2 slash H1. Result Generally, the recommended blocking ratio of self-compacting concrete is 0.8 to 0.85. The flowing of the concrete at the end of the horizontal portion is having proper segregation. Thanks for watching. For now, please subscribe, like, share and do not forget to press bell icon.